Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Diabetics. We are back after our two week break. It was really nice. We got a, we got a lot planned out actually. We have video themes up until like mid-December. So expect some good videos from us. So this week we are talking about our favorite snacks to eat when we're low. I'm gonna tell you my top three favorites. Um, I pretty much only use those three ever to get my number up. I don't really use anything else besides maybe a granola bar. It kind of just depends what my number is, where I am, what I have with me, and all the other contributing factors. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, first is Gatorade. This is the lemon-lime flavor, and it's my favorite flavor. I'll drink the red, and I'll drink the orange, but I prefer this. This is easy if my number is like low in the middle of the night, and I just need to chug a little something to get it up. Um, or in like class, if I don't want to like open something up, it's just pop it, chug it, and then I'm good to go. My second favorite is just some gummies. These are Sunkiss brand. You have to have the good gummies though. Like you can't, they have to be super chewy, but they can't be like hard, if that makes sense. So these are good. Um, the dinosaur ones from Kroger are good, but this is just what they had. Um, so these are good. But they have to have a lot of flavor. I'm really picky about my gummies. And then my third snack that gets my blood sugar up and gets me up a little too high and sends me through the roof but I'm working on it. I even take insulin for it. Um, it's graham crackers and peanut butter and then dip it in milk. It sounds disgusting, but it's so good. So it's just like the honey, honey made, whatever the honey graham crackers are and then peanut butter and then you just dip it in milk and then it gets soggy and then you eat it. It's so good. Every time I'm low, I crave it, but it sends my blood sugar so high, so fast. And I've started taking insulin for it and it still just like shoots me up super fast. Um, I only really ever eat that if I'm home because if I'm not home, I'm not going to have just a cup of milk with me, a glass of milk with me. Um, so, yeah. Um, I used to just carry this around in my purse, but then I'm like, this like takes up a lot of room and it's kind of heavy to have a full Gatorade bottle. And I usually will have at least like two of them with me. So that's why I like gummies. They're super small, but they work really well. Um, my blood sugar last night was 55 after swim practice. And I didn't feel it for a while until after practice, and then I tested, and I was 55. And I ate this pack of gummies, and by the time I was home, my number was like 112. And so it brought me up perfectly to where I needed to be and didn't exceed that limit, like the graham crackers do. Um, so these have been working really well, and like I said, they're super nice to put in my purse because they're small, they don't take up a lot of space, and they're super delicious. So those are my top three favorite low BG snacks. Comment your favorite down below. Um, I'll let you know if I've tried your favorite out and if I haven't, maybe I will try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also one last thing, I'm considering switching pumps. I'm currently on the Omnipod. I've been looking into the Medtronic 670G, but the thing is people have told me not so good reviews on it. Uh, I know Noelle's on it and she loves it. Um, so if you are on the Medtronic 670G, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not really looking into the T-Slim only because I like to have a separate monitor. Like the Omnipod, I have my pump which is like on me. And then I have a monitor to control everything. I had that with my One Touch Ping. You had the pump and then you had a monitor. The T-Slim, you just have the pump. The Medtronic, you have a pump and a monitor. So that kind of like narrowed out T-Slim and I'm not... I like to have my monitor, so I'm not looking into T-Slim. If you have any other pumps that I could look into, let me know in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated, or even, like, your experience with a certain pump. Um, I was on the Animus One Touch Ping, and then they stopped making those, I'm pretty sure. Um, I was on that for five years, and now I'm on Omnipod, and next year it will be four years, so I'm on my third year. And then my warranty's not up till next year, but there's some way we can, like, trade in my pump my mom's even willing to pay out of pocket depending on how much it is i know it's a lot insurance may cover it i don't know it depends on what pump i get but i am looking to switch nothing to omnipod omnipod has been great it's super convenient especially with swimming i'm just i'm ready for a change so let me know in the comments below your pump or if you do shots whatever let me know um if you've used a pump or if you're on a pump your reviews about it and how it went or how the Medtronic went. I'm really looking into that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.